Welcome to another Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. I'm Alistair Cook and I'm joined by Kim Lacombe. Would you introduce yourself to the folks at home, please, Kim? Sure, thanks. Hi, I'm Kim Lacombe. I am a database solutions architect here at Cohesity. So I think there's quite a big difference in how you engage with the database part of an organization, really the application owner part of an organization when you're protecting at the application level compared to where a lot of IT infrastructure people are coming in and protecting at the virtual machine level. How does it differ as you actually engage with, with the customers on this kind of, um, I guess, application level protection? Right, so the database administrators are responsible for the lifeblood of a company and they need to make sure that their applications are protected and recoverable at any point in time. So working with the DBAs and making sure that they understand, that we understand that they have specific needs for their applications, their database specific applications is very important. So that's a big part of my job. On a, a daily basis, I'm engaged with the DBAs to just help them feel comfortable in that we do have a very well-rounded solution for them to be able to protect their applications in an application consistent fashion. So as you're working with these application teams, uh, and presumably you're coming in the back of a, a relationship with the infrastructure team who are originally deploying the Cohesity solution most of the time, uh, at what point do you start being engaged and what are the important pieces of information that you need to, to transfer uh, basically as you bring this three-way relationship between the Cohesity platform, the infrastructure team and the applications team? Yeah, it's really important for, for me to come in and speak directly with the database administrators. Um, in a lot of opportunities, the database administrators end up being the decision makers because, like I said previously, their data is so important to the company itself. So when I get in, I'm speaking mostly directly with the DBAs to help understand the types of applications that they're running in their environments. Um, the amount of data that they're protecting, you know, therefore I have to kind of translate what our solution is going to look like from a size perspective, how often they need to back up their data, what their recovery scenarios are. Um, you know, obviously RTO and RPO are very important to them. Um, it's also really important for me to understand if they're moving from um, a legacy type technology to our newer scale out platform because a lot of DBAs are really married to their existing data protection options and aren't really aware of what's out there currently. So I like to help them understand that they have many different options and Cohesity can provide that for them. They can, in most cases, continue to protect their databases and recover their databases in the same way that they're doing now. But additionally, that we have more advanced features and functionality for them than what they're maybe used to, to working with. So you really have this process of gaining the trust of the DBAs and, and helping them to understand how there's going to be potentially changes in the data protection process, but not necessarily, that it's not mandatory change, but there is an, an enabling capability there that, that is how you, you bring them on board is to show how, how valuable this data protection can be for them. Yeah, it's, it's funny because at my previous company and here, We've realized that talking with a DBA is really a lot different than just talking to the general infrastructure um, administrator. So someone told me last week they were grabbing the DBA whisperer and bringing her on the phone. And I just thought that was kind of funny. And I think it's it's something that we really have. We've got some solutions architects here that, that really understand uh, customers' needs, specifically with regard to databases. And I feel like that makes them a lot more comfortable understanding that we really can help them and we can give them um, additional features, like I said, and functionality that they may not have currently. So you find that that um, somewhat adversarial relationship between the operations team and the DBAs goes away as they see value in that different solution? I think it really does. Um, it, it, you know, it's not always adversarial, but when the infrastructure team can see how much storage the database team needs, but the database team doesn't need to talk to the infrastructure team to actually run their backups or recoveries, it does tend to be a, a much more cohesive uh, relationship between the two groups. And you talked about having an agent to install. So this is not the way the, the virtual machine-based backups 
work as, as agentless, but in order to get the application awareness, can you talk just a little bit about how much of a deal it is installing an agent for backing up these databases? Most companies these days have auto deployment mechanisms to install agents. Agents aren't, um, they're not as intrusive as they've been in the past. So it's a simple executable that can be installed silently. And once the initial installation is complete, it can be upgraded remotely. But we've also got PowerShell commands and REST API. So the agent can be auto deployed in, in other fashions. You know, you don't have to actually log into every single server and run the executable itself. So we have options for installation that make it a lot less painful, if you will. Wonderful. Well, thank, thank you, Kim. Uh, it's been really useful to uh, explore a little bit about how to back up applications and, and really about how you engage in the process of getting to the point where you're going to be able to back up these applications inside database service. I think that will be really useful for particularly the infrastructure professionals who are working with their DBA colleagues and need to provide them more options. So thank you very much for joining us and thank you and the audience for joining us for another uh, Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. Stay tuned for more video.